Okay. Hi guys, welcome back to Master Thief, known as Raven. Um, so, yeah. But... What have you found out so far? The Baroness was shot in the chest at close range. We heard the shot. The murderer quickly flew to the cabin and dropped the murder weapon over the railing later. Simple story so far. But why was her cabin door locked? Exactly. If the murderer wanted to make it seem like a suicide, he'd have shot her in the head and left her to get the crime scene. And if it was murder, why did he go to all the trouble of the door from inside? And how did he manage that anyway? Especially since we arrived just a few seconds later and didn't see anything near the cabin. Something doesn't make sense here. No, it doesn't, and it's driving me crazy. Murder weapon. Did you find the murder weapon? On the gangway on the ship. I suspect the murderer tried to drop it into the sea. He would have stood close to the ring to let it fall unseen. And since he doesn't know the ship, he had bad luck and dropped it right onto the gangway. Indeed. When do you find that probable? Not a bit. Neither do I. The type of gun. What kind of a gun is it? A pistol. A Luger 08. Antique. Manufactured a million times during and after the First World War. Austrian model. The owner is David Kreitz of the violinist. We found him tonight totally drunk on the bow of the ship. Confirmed that it's his gun, but he claims that it was stolen from him. Fingerprints? Nothing. But it's worth mentioning that the clip was missing two bullets. Mm -hmm. Murder. And it's definitely the murder weapon. The ballistic tests are incomplete. Actually, I've been waiting far too long for the bullet recovered from the corpse. Take a doctor a visit, son, and see that he does his job. About the bullet. Here it is. Excellent. Give it to me. As I suspected. A 7.65 a bellum Luca. Don't you want to examine it in more detail? When I have time. For now, we can assume that we have the murder weapon. There aren't too many antique Luca always this little on board. May I take a look at the Barnes's cabin? We already searched it, though. Sure. But what about now? By daylight? Yes, yes, fine. It can't hurt. Here, take this with you. Thank you. Thanks. I'll let you know if I find anything important. But don't be that, please. I'm very busy. Of course. The finalist. Do you believe the violinist? You're the first person I question. He claims he can't remember anything from the last few hours, since he drank a bottle of schnapps. He was on the train, and he doesn't have an alibi. His drunkenness could be a smokescreen. If it's the profile, he travels a lot, has access to high society. Could be interesting. The drug ants. Chloral hydrate is a tranquilizer. Can be dissolved in alcohol. The effect begins in bits and lasts for hours. Who gave you the glass of champagne? Captain. I believe it was Captain De Conti. If the thing were enough for us, we'd have become priests, Constable. Policemen and fight for sure. Under the jewel thief murder. You think that the jewel thief is the murderer? Our friend would have needed another key to open the safe and steal the second time. But the Baroness was carrying it. At least, that's what we implied. What do you mean? You mean? The Baroness was famous for her forgetfulness. I convinced her to give me the third key. It seems safer for the eye. The thief searches so the Baroness's the key. Cabin, looking for the third key. She returns from the saloon early than expected. Surprises him, and he can't allow her to identify him. He imprisons her until the coast is clear, and then she That's why he shot stops. it. The thief becomes a murderer, but still doesn't have all the keys. That's why he was killed. That's why he was trying to kill her. So he could steal the key. So he can open the... Like this, 
the safe. Are you sure that there's no bomb inside? I'm Professor Lucien, locked in front of an audience, and it will be open for the first time in Cairo. Let's hope so. It will take hours to break it. And you'd need heavy machinery. Or the keys. Or the three keys, that's right. The Red and Jewels. Do you think... Do you really think that the Raven is behind this? He wrote the letter that was on the safe in the train. Without the letter, we wouldn't have opened the safe and the bomb wouldn't have exploded. But it doesn't seem like him, does it? The Raven was famous to part because it never hurt anyone, much less killed anyone during a burglary. It's his handwriting, and he called me Nico. No one else does that. I could chase that man across Europe for years. It is him. It has to be him. But the evidence... Enough. I'll be on my way. I want to find out who did the drug champagne. Good idea. Inspector Legrand, are you okay? Maybe you should take a break. I can sleep. It's the pot the raven. Good luck, Constable. Be seeing you. Legrand is risking not just his career, but his health as well on his hunt for the Raven. He's working like a demon. Maybe that's why he put the raven in no else. Alcoholic drinks and everything that goes with them is top notch. This ship. Fresh ice and tones. Hmm. They could be useful. Off, said. What is the meaning of this? Even the police light fingered know this? I need this tool for a criminal investigation. Well, why didn't you say so? So, how long can I put the end? Actually, you could answer a few questions. What was your experience of it tonight? Okay. Big was for that. A decided about having a present big under the stars. And then this. You were in the room all night long. Sweet captain, I have to take my husband. After you and the others crashed out, I tried to maintain a fast battle speed. But, but when the other army goes off, I lose the battle. Yeah, just joking. How was the Baroness? She really surprised me. After she was so unapproachable at the reception, and didn't show her face for the entire afternoon, I was afraid she was one of the bores and bourgeoisie. But then she arrived in the early evening in the best mood. Already had a few, if you know what I mean. <laughs> 
Did she say anything to you? She asked me where Le Grand's puppy was. I told her, then invited her to come for drinks in the evening. I said it would be great fun. The ship will be there, and you don't want to miss that. I told her, and then she seemed to like the idea. She smiled and then left again for a few minutes. Then she came back and seemed very happy with battles to life. But at some point she didn't feel well anymore. She overdid it a bit. She suddenly started to swoon. I almost spilled her drink. I asked her if she wanted to rest for a moment in her cabin. At first, she didn't want to. She definitely wanted to stay in the saloon. But then she realized that she really did need to lie down. We left together. You know the rest of the story. Did everyone drink from the same bottle of champagne last night? There was more than one, if that's what you mean. There were quite a few guests, and then the last is seven rounds. The last bottle of champagne, the one the Baroness drank from. Did anyone else drink from it? Certainly. We were supposed to believe that the champagne was drunk. Incredible. But wouldn't that have made everyone drowsy? Not if it was only the Baroness the glass that was drugged. I see. That's possible. On a night like that, many glasses are filled and uh, there are several stewards and beds. No one uses of every glass and every bottle. A few drops in a glass? Yes, certainly possible. The glass you handed me last night, where did you get it? Ah, uh, I understand. You think your glass was poisoned as well? Did you pour it yourself? No. I suppose you weren't doing so well and wanted to rescue the situation. Took the first available glass and brought it on a tape. No, I hurry over to you, together with Dr. Gebhardt, who, of the course, he had the glass in his hand. He was looking around for a place to set it down so that he could examine you. I took it from him. And you gave it to me. I'd like to apologize for that, but it looks so worse for the weather. And I just wanted to comfort you. I didn't think of looking for a new glass for you. Hmm. So the doctor had the drugged glass in his hand. Passengers. 
What can you tell me about the passengers? Oh, not that much, I'm afraid. I would like to get to know properly at the reception. In most cases, I just shook hands with them as they board the ship. There are a few regulars on board, and after the I had a conversation with Mr. Curtis, a talented violinist, and Lady Westbrook. But you are very not from the train. It seems like there aren't that many passengers on board. These bloody airplanes are wrecking our lives missed. Can you imagine? Grown men prefer to jam themselves into a narrow metal coffin instead of enjoying the fresh sea air of a ship. It's all about saving time. It shouldn't be about how much time it takes to get from where we but about how you spend that time. What do you experience on the journey? That's what it's about. I'll get back to my investigations now. Ciao, Cortaba. Lady Wetz seems to be good, but maybe that's just because of all the excitement. I saw a twinkle in her eye on the train. She's eager to be part of a real detective story. Lady Westmacott, already on your f Oh. Constable, don't you think before you speak? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. No time for chit-chat. What have you found out? We're still working on the case. Actually, I have a couple of questions for you. Please, go ahead. The adventure on the train. What did you think of our adventure on the train? An extraordinary story, isn't it? I'm good that you were able to prove yourself, Elmer. Hopefully not for the last time. I'm glad that everything ended well. I want to thank you sincerely for taking care of that you. I can't bear to think about something happening to him. It all worked out in the end. A trophy. Do you think that the thief from the train and the murderer are the same person? I think the new Raven is capable of anything. Legrand believes there is no new Raven. He thinks that the old one has returned. Is it that? Do you think it's possible? Everyone thinks he's dead. As a dramatist, the return of the Raven would certainly be delightful. A legend comes back from the grave for one last job. It's quite dramatic. At the same time, though, I'd be disappointed. Why is that? I followed the Raven's career closely. There weren't many burglars with such character and charm. His burglaries were clever and entertaining, but he was sloppy in London. He almost got caught, and I will never forgive him for the affair of fame. No, I would much rather that the Raven stayed dead and had nothing to do with the burglary or the murder. He, he was the suspect. What do you think? Who is our suspect? Everyone, or almost everyone. Everyone on board is physically capable of shooting someone. But who has the dark desire to give a knife on a defenseless person? One cannot read minds. And one should not try. You have to collect evidence, traces, clues. That's what will lead us to the killer. It won't be like a bad crime novel, in which they introduce a new character shortly before the end, who, surprise, surprise, is also the murderer. Murderers need evidence. They're nervous or unnaturally relaxed. They have to adjust constantly. And because of that, they mistakes. This is your chance, Constable. If you find the mistake, you'll find your murderer. A murderer? Have you noticed anything related to the murder? Unfortunately not. I was already in my cabin and missed all the commotion. Damnable old age. You're telling me. Oh, you're still young. At my age, you have to expect that you won't experience much anymore. And although I've written about murder so many times, I've never actually witnessed one. How exciting. I doubt everyone is so relaxed in such a situation. Heartless is the word you're searching for, right, Constable? I certainly didn't want the Baroness to be murdered, but if I can't undo it, then I might as well enjoy it. Uh... 
what do you think of Inspector Legrand? He seems to be as skilled as everyone says. Intelligent, focused. I had a chat with him yesterday, and he impressed me, but there's something haunted in his eyes. I don't think he ever really stopped hunting the raven. Catching the raven made him famous. What if he actually shot the wrong person? Unjustified fame bothers people, the good ones at least. And do you think he's one of the good ones? Anyone who tries so hard to tear down his own memorial must be honorable. <laughs> or insane. I have to be going, Lady Westmacott. Please keep me informed, Constable Zelda. Yes. Of course. Is that the way for the week was? That's months, that is. They give you two boxes of each, just a month, isn't it? Yeah. Happy? Mm -hmm. Good. Good, good. So I can take the my meds now. You take meds now? Just as normal. What do I do with that? What? What do I do with the one in the pot? Oh, yeah. Hold on. 